Teachers were back in the classroom today after an eight day strike at accelerated charter schools in South LA. It was <laughs> exhausting um, coming here every day and seeing the kids go inside upset. This is the first charter school strike in California history. Charter schools are public, but are run independently. Most in Los Angeles aren't part of unions. Hilda Rodriguez Guzman is a grandmother who helped create this school. For a long time, we've had a high teacher turnover, a high staff turnover, and it has caused a lot of instability. Guzman's grandson walked the picket lines. Because if this wouldn't stop, then there would have been no teachers. Striking teachers at the school said they wanted more job protection. Without job security, it's hard to voice your concerns or advocate for your kids without um, possible retribution. A tentative agreement reached Sunday would increase salaries and health benefits and gives bonuses to teachers who stay. The deal will also create a new committee to hear their concerns. We can really look at some opportunities for healing and creating trust where it wasn't there before. Tensions leading up to the strike had been building over the last two years as United Teachers Los Angeles negotiated with the school's board. Parents say the healing begins now. This is huge and I think this is now in a very important step uh, for charter schools. It, it's, it's sort of an awakening to say, you know, like we are, we're important too, our kids are important too. Another example of teachers banding together to improve conditions for both them and their students. For Annenberg Media, I'm Madeline Audley.